Hi, today's video is all about this amp here and my thoughts on owning it for over five years. So a little bit about this JVM behind me. It's a 50 watt two speaker combo. It's basically got the same power section as a JCM 800. It goes from clean to high gain and it has two channels and three gain stages in each channel and each time you go to a different gain stage it does actually slightly change the sound just a little it could be the way it's EQ'd I guess or just the way the gain stage is and the cool thing is everything can be programmed into the foot switch as well so you can choose what you change with the foot switch <laughs> So now I'm going to talk a little bit about the foot switch. Here it is here. I've got it plugged in because I quickly want to demonstrate how I have it set up. Foot switch is actually very well built. Solid as anything. So I'm going to start with the switch here. Hopefully you can see the lights there. Sorry if they're flashing. Unfortunately, that's just how my camera works. So this channel here is the clean and crunch channel. And if I go through it, you can see it's on green, orange and red channels then back to green. This also does the same, it goes from green, orange, and red, back to green again. Wherever I leave this, it goes back to, so if I leave this one say on orange, go back to here, it go back to green, and this one go back to orange. That's just how I have it programmed, so it just gives me all the choices of the channels. And if necessary, I'm playing live, I can just jump between the two very quickly. This one here is for the effects loop, well that's how I have it set up. The reason for that is I actually have a delay in the effects loop and I can use this to switch this in and out. This one I have for my second master volume. As the JVM has two master volumes, I can have one set for either a boost, if I need it, for solos or whatever, or I can actually have it all the way down to mute it, so I can use it for tuning if need be, or just for quiet points in the song, or talky bits on stage. <laughs> talk about the two channels and the different gain stages. So the first channel is the clean and crunch channel. The green clean if you like, as far as I know it's based on a JTM 45 so that's a very classic old Marshall clean sound. So the second gain stage, the orange channel on the clean and crunch channel, is based off a Marshall Plexi kind of gain structure. I absolutely adore this channel, it's great for those classic rock kind of sounds. It takes pedals really well just to push it that bit harder. The third gain stage, or the red gain stage, is based on a JCM 800. It's great for that classic martial rock of the 80s. It sounds fabulous being pushed by an overdrive pedal. <laughs> Now I'm going to talk about the overdrive channel, the second channel. This is where things get really heavy. The first gain stage is the green gain stage. In the manual this is often referred to as a 80s modified Marshall sound. It's like a JCM 800 
with a tube screen right up front, but not as compressed. Like the mods I've have done, it's really opened up this channel a lot. <laughs> The second game stage, the Orange Channel, this is where things get very heavy. For me, it kind of reminds me of kind of classic Megadeth, if anything. It's uh, much more compressed, much more heavier sound. I like this channel a lot, but for me, it's probably just a little bit too gainy. Uh, because of that it can get quite noisy. I definitely think you need a noise gate for this channel. <laughs> The last gain stage is the red channel. This gets super heavy. Uh, for me, it seems like it's got a lot more bass on this channel. Great for heavy, grungy sounds. But again, like the orange channel, I think it's got a little bit too much gain and can get quite hissy with that as well. You definitely do need a noise gate for this channel. <laughs> Speakers. It's a two channel combo, it has two speakers. It has two British Celestrons, a Vintage 30, it's a 70 watt, a Heritage G12H, an 80 watt, and they're both built to Marshall specifications. I also have an add-on cabinet, it's a 16 ohm cabinet. I'm going to talk about Dan Gale's modifications on this amp. The JVM is a great sounding amp. I've owned a lot of Marshalls over the years, so this is by no means the first amp I've ever owned. But I kind of wanted this one to sound a bit better. It was almost there. I have to say it was very close, but there's just something not quite right. For me, the amp was a little bit too compressed and a little bit too gainy. So while looking at modifications, I remembered a friend of mine mentioned that his cousin actually did some modifications to his amps. Um, I think he had a PV5150 he had modified. He basically lived in the same town as me. Turns out it was Dan Gower. So I contacted Dan and asked him if he could mod my JVM. He said that he did have a JVM mod and yeah, sure, he could do that for me. I also asked him if he could lower the gain slightly as, as I've said previously, this is a bit too high gain for myself and give it a lot less of a compressed sound. He said, yes, sure, he could do that. I also asked him to add a choke. Um, he said, really, I don't need to, but I like the feel of a choke when I play in an amp. So he said, sure, I'll do that for you. I dropped it off to him and he did his magic. It sounded absolutely amazing. So for the first week, a couple of weeks, I was playing this thinking, this is great. But then it had a problem. It had a slight cracking sound. So he said it possibly could be the valves. So we changed the valves or tube. And then the sound came back again. So I took it back to him, he took a look seemed to be working again took it back to him again he took another look and we kept going through this after a couple of looks he noticed the PCB had been cracked it's probably due to the previous owner and that explains probably why I got this amp so cheap as well so Dan put himself out he contacted Marshall he got a new PCB board basically rebuilt the amp made sure it was all up and running and then gave me a call. The reason why I included this into the story is because Dan went out of his way. His customer service was absolutely top notch. He did a lot of extra work on it. He didn't have to. So thank you, Dan.
And now my thoughts on this amp. Simply put, it's the amp I've owned and used for the longest. And I've owned a lot of amps, mostly Marshall style amps, but this one's still around. Even if I left it as a stock amp, I think I'd still be very happy with this amp. The JVM range is cool, I like it a lot. I read the reviews, I read about the cheap plasticky knobs, I read that it was too compressed and it wasn't very good amp. But having owned one and played it for a while, it is a very good amp. And I'd still be happy even if it was just left like that. But with these mods, it's turned it into quite the little fire breather. I really enjoy playing it. Every day it puts that smile on my face. It's got that open classic martial sound. It's far less compressed. <laughs> Do I think it's worth getting it modded? Well, that's up to you and what you need it for and whether you feel you need to get a modification to start with because you do have to spend a bit to get them modded. If you're happy with the JVM sound and you don't really need it changed or it does what you want, fine. But if you want that little bit extra, you find it either a little bit too compressed or you want some slight little change here and there. And I'd say that with all Marshalls really, if there's something just the core sound is there but you want it either up there or move down there or something like that then yeah i'd say it's worth getting a modification done on them it just adds that extra 20 percent which pushes it over the top or in my case it takes a little bit of gain away as well <laughs> Thank you very much for making it through to the end of the video. If you've got any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. If you could like and subscribe, that would be a massive help to me as I'm still trying to grow this channel. And I look forward to seeing you again in my next video.